newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now, we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number, Manor, Caterham, HRT, and of course, Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams, and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill, and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. Okay, great, thank you. That's a wrap. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? As we continue to increase our acclaim, more potential partners become willing to work with us we can now approach an additional sponsor from the Corporate tab. Morning boss, Jeff here. Thanks again for bringing me on board. You've found a lot of talented people for this team. I can't wait to see what we can accomplish. Our journey to the Constructors' Championship starts here today, and the car is ready to head out whenever you are. In the unforgiving world of Formula One, free practice sessions are a vital part of any... Checks complete. All personnel be aware, we have a car leaving.
okay. Just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tyre temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. We monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. Surface temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data open and get a feel for how to control them. Fuel mix one if you want to save the engine for the race.
There's four laps of fuel remaining. Out of fuel, almost out of fuel. You need to pit within the next two laps. This lap, please. Box this lap. When driving with the pit assist disabled, you'll need to be mindful of your speed when entering the pit lane. If you hit the limiter line too fast, you'll pick up a penalty. Watch the on-screen prompts that show your target speed and distance to the limiter line.
If you want to know specific information or make certain changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it manually from the radio screen that will appear on the multifunction display. While the radio is active, cycle through command groups with the MFD button. All clear the garage, please. Car ready to leave. Fifteenth, their best lap time is a one forty two point zero. We have no rival at this time. Now we have P17, program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Understood, stopping this lap.
only got two laps of fuel left. Let's talk about this track. Break nice and early for 14. It's a long run from there down the pit straight, so you need a good exit. But you can also carry a fair amount of entry speed, so get off the brakes early and turn in a bit sooner than seems natural. The car should understeer past the apex. The exit is wide enough so that you can run out to the curbs and get away with it. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Bottas, Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. What an incredible practice session. The fun doesn't stop here, though. Join us again as the rest of the weekend unfolds.